October November 2021 Paper 2 Variant 2 Question 1 Hydrogen iodide is colorless gas at room temperature. Okay, A part 1. Explain why HI has higher boiling point than HCl and HBr. Okay, so first you need to understand the three molecules that in the question they are all polar molecules so which means all these molecules they will have a, a permanent dipole permanent dipole forces if it's just about the polarity the HCl is supposed to have a higher boiling point but the HI now is has higher boiling point than the others two so means the main contributor for this higher boiling point is not about the polarity it's about size so we know that when down the group the size of the halogens increases and therefore it has more electron and the instantaneous dipole induced dipole IDID is going to be stronger so means this question is about IDID so you need to explain in terms of the size or the numbers of electron okay. HI is has a greater numbers of electron therefore it has the greater instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces this is the uh, correct answer means it just relates with the numbers of electron okay which will give a higher or larger okay id id forces part two the bar <coughs> chart shows that HCl, HBr and HI all the boiling points okay, of these three molecules so the boiling point increases now another one is HF so already given HF molecules is form hydrogen bonds okay, draw a bar on the bar chart predict the boiling point of HF so you just draw as as long is higher than HI because we know that hydrogen bonds it's much stronger than the PD PD and ID ID okay, that's why you have to draw something like this right okay explain your answer very easy so why the HF has higher boiling point so you must mention the sum of the hydrogen bond and ID ID in HF okay, are stronger than the sum of ID ID and permanent dipoles in these three molecules. Okay, first you need to understand every molecule they will have ID ID because every molecule they must have electrons. Whenever there is an electron, ID ID will form. Okay, it's just because HF is form a stronger uh, intermolecular force, the strongest, okay, which is hydrogen bond. Therefore, the boiling point of HF is much higher than the others. It's actually the sum of the uh, Van der Waals force. Okay, in HF, again, it has ID ID together with hydrogen bond. In the HCl and HBr and HI, it has the permanent dipoles of course at the same time it has ID ID okay B the enthalpy change of formation delta HF of HI is positive 26.5 okay define the terms enthalpy change of formation okay enthalpy change when one mole of compound is formed from its elements and these elements must in their standard state 
under standard condition. Okay, for example, under standard condition means 25 degrees C1 ATM. Oxygen uh, is uh, gas. The HI is gas. Hydrogen is gas. Uh, these are all the standard states. Now, HI gas can be formed by reacting H2 gas with I2 gas. The reaction is reversible, reversible, and the equilibrium formed quickly at high temperatures. Okay, construct the expression of Kp for this equilibrium. Very easy. Uh, it's a product over reactant. The partial pressure of HI squared because coefficient is 2 here so therefore is square over the reactance okay partial pressure of the h2 times partial pressure of the i2 okay uh, given this uh, partial pressure of the reactance and product it's, okay it's quite easy now you have to substitute all this partial pressure into the expression all these three into this expression then you'll get 28.76 so this kp is dimensionless no unit all cancel out okay for part three actually uh, this question is a bit uh, problematic uh, because at uh, 100 degrees c uh, actually, the iodine uh, still not really uh, uh, melt. The melting point of iodine is actually 110 something. So means at 100 degrees C, the iodine is not really in gas form. Uh, that, that's the main problem. Which means it's hard to compare with the equilibrium that given here. So we, we still, we, we are not really sure whether it still follow this one right okay uh, but however um, we just assume just assume uh, uh, the delta HR is still endo at is given in the previous part okay if if delta HR is still endo then KP of course it will be it will decreases because equilibrium will shift to left okay to release the energy because if delta h is endo if it's endo forward is absorb energy reverse is release energy when temperature decreases it must try to increase the temperature so therefore equilibrium will shift to left to form more reactants right so react uh, the reactants will form more but th this answer is just we assume delta hr is still endo okay and again this question uh, is has uh, some uncertainties there because at 100 degrees C the iodine is not really in gas form okay D HI reacts with iodine to form uh, sorry HI react with oxygen to form iodine and water so you just follow the statement construct the equation hi with o2 form iodine and h2o right balance it you get this explain with reference to oxidation number why this reaction is redox very easy you have to um, at least mention the change in the oxidation number okay so iodine is changed from negative one to zero oxygen 
change from 0 to negative 2 so you must mention these two change right these two okay therefore we know that iodine is being oxidized and oxygen is being reduced right because oxidation number increases and oxygen is oxidation number decreases right okay part e hi or can also be formed okay by the reaction of i2 with the hydrazine okay uh, like this equation i2 okay with hydrazine form hi and n2 okay so first you need to know is here three moles on left five moles on right okay means here okay, it has more moles on the product side Okay, state the change in pressure would occur when two moles of iodine fully reacts with the hydrazine in the sealed container at the constant temperature. Okay, so if let's say the iodine here fully reacts with this, so we know that it's three moles from five moles because it's complete or fully reacts. Okay, more moles has been formed, therefore we know that the pressure in the silk container must increase because it's formed more moles. Right? Pressure goes up as numbers of moles increases from 3 to 5. Okay, it's quite easy this one. Okay, part F. In the laboratory, HI can be formed in two processes. Okay, step 1 and step 2. Okay, uh, part, part 1. Draw a dot cross diagram for PI3. So uh, you must show all the uh, valence electron. Uh, phosphorus must have five, iodine must have seven. And they share one electron from each atom. So form three bondings here. So you must show these three bond, uh, the pair of electrons that share, and one lone pair on the phosphorus. Okay, and must show the remaining electrons on the iodine, right? Something like this. Okay, name the type of reaction in step two. Okay, step two is this. Huh? Okay, Pi3 react with water from H3PO3 and Hi. Okay, Pi3 now reacts with water from something. Okay, it must be hydrolysis. Okay, answer is hydrolysis. H3PO3 and HI are both strong bonded lauric acid. Okay, give the meaning of strong bonded lauric acid. Okay, you have to uh, relate to two things. One is the bonded lauric acid and another one is a strong. Okay, bonded lauric acid is always proton donor. And the strong acid means it's fully ionized. So you just need to mention these two terms. Okay, give the formula of the conjugate base of H3PO3. Okay, conjugate base, uh, you need to know if this um, formula given is the H3PO3 uh, as the acid and the conjugate base of this acid. So H3PO3 acid means it must donate proton. After it donates a proton or release a proton, okay, so it will become H2PO3 negative. Uh, so this is the conjugate base of the acid. Uh, so your answer must be H2PO3 negative. Okay, part G. HI reacts with propene to form a mixture of one iodopropane and two iodopropane. Okay, this one is asked identify which iod iod uh, which of the one iodopropane and two iodopropane is the major product. Okay, so from here we must uh, at least know okay the structure that involve I mean the intermediate the propene first will react with HI 
Okay, the H with partial positive, I with partial negative. Okay, the pair of electron. Okay, one. Okay, this is a double bond. So the <coughs> uh, one of the pair of electrons here will try to form bonding with this uh, H hydrogen. Okay, and according to the Markovnikov rules, this H will bond to the carbon with more hydrogen, which is this carbon. So therefore, okay, when this H form new bonding with this carbon, it will form this intermediate. And this intermediate is the secondary carbocation. Okay, after that, we know that secondary carbocation is more stable than primary carbocation. Okay, if the hydrogen now form bonding with this carbon, then it will form this carbocation. So this is a primary carbocation which is less stable. So therefore, the more stable carbocations will be formed, means this one will form more than this one. And eventually, it will form more products here. Okay, that's the reason why the two iodopropane is the major products. Right, so if you understand this, then you can, you will know how to explain. So 2 iodopropane is a major product as it's formed from the more stable secondary carbocation, this one, okay, which has the greater positive inductive effect okay, from the two alkyl groups here. So you push electrons to this uh, carbocation and this carbocation is more stable. Okay, part two, complete the diagram to show the mechanism between the HI and the propene from the major products only. Okay, this one I already showed you just now. Okay, uh, the dipole, uh, partial positive on hydrogen, partial negative on uh, iodine. So make sure you draw uh, the arrow from the CC double bond to the hydrogen and the HI bond spray. So these electrons from the HI will move to the iodine and is form iodides later. Okay, must form this bonding, eh? point to this iodine. Then it will form the carbocation. This hydrogen again will form new bonding with this carbon. So it will form this carbocation. And the iodide that, that uh, formed just now, it will attack this carbocation and it's formed new CI bonds from these products to iodopropane. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.